Absolutely no consolation. The Max Verstappen, one of the favourites to take hold this afternoon, out of qualifying before he even gets going. I mean, I'm just testing um, the setup. Sorry for those that was I thought I was talking to you and I wasn't. I've got so many streams over for the first five minutes. I'm like, and no one can hear anything. <laughs> I've got uh, a few laptops running to um, let me know what the quality's like. So I'm trying to stream higher quality. Uh, last night it didn't really work um, so I've tweaked a few things let me know what the picture's like uh, Rudy I saw a little bit of your stream last night but not, not a huge amount of it because uh, I was uh, shard had to go to bed yeah it's getting there mate it's getting there I'm just going to go and turn my laptop down once I uh, lose this ball. Yeah, I've got the um, Formula One racing qualifying on one of the screens here. One second. Good. Yeah, it should be good because I'm pumping it out at really high bit rate and um, and uh, pretty. I'm not dropping any frames. So last night um, I also said that it's getting lots of artifacts. I also need to set the camera to to um, manual focus because it kept <laughs> it kept losing focus last night. How's that? Uh, is that any better? Hopefully, a little bit better, I think. New York was awesome, mate. It was a great, um, great weekend. Uh, it's pretty full on, but I, uh, I really enjoyed it. Um, my wife enjoyed it, although she, she, <laughs> she probably would have preferred if I played less pinball. But um, that was the whole purpose. Of well, I was out there for work, so it was easy to extend it for a few days and um, fly her out. So, um, but the, the Levy and the guys really ran a phenomenal um, competition. It was hard, it was um, challenging, I, but I played well. You know, I, I don't know if you, you know, even though I, I, I missed qualifying by literally one point in 20 seconds, but I am. Um, I was so happy with how I played. You know, you got to, you do times when you play terrible and you're annoyed with yourself. But well, I played really well. Yeah, I can see why um, you'd miss living there. But I tell you, the thing that was scary there, really, man, the, the cost of living in New York's just outrageous. Um, I mean, even the hotel prices um, for what you pay and what you get, it's nuts. I don't know how, I mean, I was talking to a couple of guys out there that live there. I showed them pictures of my, um, pictures of the arcade and they're like, holy shit, you know, and they, they tell you how much it would cost to have that much space in New York. It's just nuts, man. It's what, I mean, I lived in London and it, London's, you know, it's not exactly cheap, but it, it's, it, it's, um, it's nowhere near New York sort of pricing. So, you know, I, I moved out of London, um, I moved out of London three or four years ago. Best decision I ever made. Don't regret it one little bit. Got a nice uh, house, bit of space, fresher air, less noise. Because I'm an old fart, of course. <laughs> you know? 
you probably, when you're, uh, when you're, when you're a youngin, you probably want to live in the city, right? Hey, Tim. I'm just testing, uh, I've made some changes to the, um, streaming, um, parameters for encoding. Let me know what they're like. It's good to see you, man. <coughs> we were just talking about the <coughs> cost of living in New York, which is insane, basically. Yeah, man, this is the new shed, dude. <laughs> ah, I wasn't paying attention. Yeah, it's not bad. Do you want me to do a pan around with a camera? Let me know, and I'll, I'll use the... I've got a camera pointing at my neon light. Because it's so freaking cool. <laughs> I have to tell you, this, that neon light you can see, that's it live. You've no idea the aggro that thing caused me. Um, my wife got it as a, as a, um, good. Um, <coughs> my wife got me it as a Christmas present cause she, when she knew I was building this. And um, it came from Australia, believe it or not, in one piece. Um, And um, it was uh, just hard to hang it. I had this problem with the power supply. Um, just a freaking nightmare. So when I finally got it up, as they say, woohoo, free game. Um, it was nuts. Let me know if, if you want. I'll grab the camera and do a, a walk round, or at least a, a rotate round. I was just um, watching the Formula One qualifying. Trying to, I've got this um, set of screens in the room. I've got a Matrix switcher and it was playing up and I was just trying to test that and then I thought I would test the um, streaming. The one downside of this um, shed is um, because I used um, really modern insulation, the uh, mobile and Wi-Fi signal, out, so inside it's fine, but radiating outside in, it's, uh, it's a freaking nightmare. So Craig Pullen was on last night when I was streaming and um, he gave, gave, his strategy is pretty decent for this, which is to um, which is to go along the bottom and the and the, and the along the bottom along that side and get super um, just checking that the uh, stream is okay. Um, <coughs> Looks like Verstappen's biffed it for qualifying. You start from the from the back. What an idiot! So I just I just pushed the um, <clears throat> frame rate up to 6k, um, which which to be honest with you I don't know why I didn't think to do that before because I've got the bandwidth here. Um, I also have you seen a lot of artifacts on it. It seems to be a hell of a lot better. And actually the CPU of the uh, machines come down, so it was clearly a, trying to compress all the data into um, to that into that setting was clearly 
closing it challenges. Yeah, I've, where, I, where I've got Star Trek, I'm able to put the light a little bit higher. So you notice so much glare. I mean, there is a bit of glare here. This, this glare here is actually the reflection of the neon. Um, and this, I've got PDI glass in here, so probably not a lot I can do about that. Um, but I've got a, an LED light. You can see if I put my hand up there, it's behind the camera. Um, which uh, seems to work pretty well. Yeah, no, I know it's it's it's. Uh, I I only noticed it because I, cause I was like, "What the hell is that?" I thought it was like a mark on the glass. <laughs> uh, your mind, your mind plays uh, tricks on you. Yeah, yeah, we're both coming to Pimba. Can't wait, mate. I tell you, <clears throat> it's, it's like fifty-eight days in counting, <laughs> or something like that. I've still got to book my flights. Actually, I booked the hotel and the tickets. Um, I've, I haven't booked the flights yet because the the I usually book them about a month in advance. It tends to be the sweet spot for flight prices. Yeah, Mandy's coming. I don't know if she's looking forward to it. I'm trying to get her to enter the women's tournament, but she's, um, she won't be convinced, which is a shame, because I think it would be good for her. She's like, oh, well, it might be terrible. I was like, yeah, but quite a few of us are terrible. <laughs> That's so rubbish. That's so rubbish compared to the original Star Trek 2. <laughs> what were they thinking? Right. When we were up there. Yeah, man, it's going to be great. There's going to be so many of us there. Patrick, I will be there. Um, Kevin and the Buffalo guys. Um, I guess uh, is, um, is Tuna going? I, I, I haven't spoke to him. Well, I think she'd do better than she thinks. I think she just thinks she'd be last. I think she'd be last, but I think the only way you learn how to play better is is to is to is to compete. If I wasn't competing, uh, I wouldn't be uh, so good. Wow, the clerk's fifth. Is that right? Good, excellent. <coughs> yeah, it should be good. I'm looking forward to it. I'm actually going on holiday next week for a week in, in Cyprus. Um, sort of fly out tomorrow. A week of chilled out. We, uh, no pinball for a week though, man. That's going to freaking kill me. <laughs> I'll be playing pinball arcade. Dude, next year, Tim, we've got a pinball, man. You can crash in my hotel room. Get a Norwegian flight. It's not that pricey.
bollocks. Max Verstappen crashed his car in FP3, and um, let me do a, a quick wander around the, um, the uh, pinball shed. Uh, turn that down. And um, I'll do a quick wander around with this camera. This will be uh, fun. For those just watching for the first time so, on Star Wars and, and Sky Sports Mix, there's where I was playing. Star Trek. Hopefully, you can hear me. And then, up against this big wall here, I've got a projector and two screens. Um, and they're all like wired up. I haven't finished wiring it all up, so it's a bit of a mess, but they're all wired up to a matrix, which I've got this cool neon up here. And then, all the machines along here. In the Monster Bash, Naval Madness, Attack from Mars, Tony Gun Alley, Theatre Magic, Nokia, Star Trek, Next Gen, Ryder Pumba, and Star Trek Theatre East, Tim's favourite, right at the back here. Let me swing round this way, so I've got a bit of space here. It's currently got my wife's gym equipment, but I found a place to stick that, so. I'll be taking that space over, and then on this side, I got Batman 66, Ghostbusters, Walking Dead, and World Poker Tour. And in the middle here, I don't know if you can see that. There you go. In the middle, I got three arcade, I got three arcade cocktail tables: Defender, Robotron, and Stargate. <coughs> and then I got some. I got got to sort these out. I've just stuck them up here. Some uh, my space pictures. You know, of course, the obligatory. Um, the obligatory DMD clock, and I, I don't know how I can show this if I can. No, I probably can. Um, the, uh, can I show it? Yeah, you can see I've got it upside down though. But I've got Williams and Stern Neon. Um, it's, it's alright, it's pretty cool. A, a few things I would have done differently, but overall I'm, I'm, uh, I'm pretty happy. The how it's turned out. Uh, I'll get in there, sort of fellow competitors sort of stick this back and clean it up. It is so hard here. If there is no room to sort of hide and get off the truck and get out of the way, generally the drivers do it very, very well. Ricardo in a class of his own in that opening quarter. That's better. Let's get back upstairs and tell you. Yeah, so uh, Ricardo fell bottom ham hamlet on a Q1 qualifying. So another game of pinball. Hope that was useful. Show this place off. <laughs> yeah, Iron Maiden will go. So basically, I'm going to bump Star Trek down next to Walking Dead. Batman 66 will come here. Iron Maiden will go right next to it. Um, because I've got, I found a way of um, <clears throat> grabbing the screen output from new Sterns. I've got an LVDS to HDMI converter. And actually, I'm, I'm, I'm about to also test it with a colored DMD LCD screen. So the colored DMD output is LVDS. So I'm gonna, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna buy a LCD colored DMD and butcher it um, a little bit so that I can just use the interface board to grab the DMD, convert it to LVDS and convert it to HDMI. It's a bit mental. Um, yeah, so I made an LE, um, Probably before the end of June, hopefully. So it's on the boat, um, shipping. Um, so yeah, so I've played that in New York. I was thoroughly impressed by it. Um, very good game. I mean, the music sucks, of course, but that's life. <laughs> After that, I don't know what game I'm going to get. I'm, I'm still trying to find a. Um, I'm still trying to find a, a meteor. So I really like that game, but I'm trying to find one here in the UK has been really hard. 
there's a few that have got people, but they want silly money to part with it. And I'm, I don't mind paying market rate for it, but I'm not paying silly money for it to convince people to part with it. <clears throat> I'm really impressed by Iron Maiden. I, I, the, um, I wasn't too sure about the LE, but I played it. At, um, they, they got a Pro and a LE at Sunshine. I played them both, and the LE, I think, so is worth... It's definitely, I think, the better game. It's probably not worth the price difference, of course, but never is, is it? Then I don't know what games I'll get next. Because I'll, I'll be out of space again. Well, actually, I'll have space for two more machines. Um, but I've got an NBA fast break in the garage. Um, I've got Spider-Man in the office, but probably leave maybe put Spider-Man in Pinball Club and probably flog NBA actually. Yeah, I like Fast Break as well. I think it gets a lot of aggro that it's a terrible game, but I think it's phenomenal. Um, actually, I played it in a tournament at Sunshine. It was a league night, and um, it's a great tournament game. Um, really is a good tournament game because you're kind of scoring points that are kind of basketball points, um, and, it, and it works really well. <laughs> no, I, I put it this way: I, I um, if I expand my pinball empire out of this room. I I, uh, I will be dead basically. I, st I still don't know who in Stern thought it would be a good idea to have half naked women on the DMD at the end of the game. Bottas is on the power man. There we go. So I'm, I'm watching the Formula One in Hamilton and Bottas, so I'm a big Hamilton fan because he's a Brit. Um, wow. Mercedes guys are struggling. Right, I've done this the wrong way around, but we can. I think we can... Actually, I'm going to start again. Yeah, I mean, mine's, this is, um, if I had a basement, that's probably where mine's would be. I did think about building a basement um, under the house. I, I, I thought about extending the house. I thought about um, building a basement, but there, there was no easy way of extending my house into the sort of space that I wanted. And it would have been a it would have been an expensive compromise, so I went for the shed instead. And the basement, I could have bought, I could have built a basement, but it was going to be seriously a lot of cash and also a huge amount of um, disruption in the house, which I didn't really want to go through. Bollocks. Hold on. Just getting a drink. My tentacle down over there. I mean, I mean, it's just great to have a bit of space where you can work, work on things as well. That's the key thing. that warp shot. Fantastic, it really is fantastic. Here we go. 
go. Ah. Yeah, although I've seen a few people do uh, a lot of good, cool stuff with their basements already. There's a, some really great um, extra ball is lit. Here we go. Yay, extra ball. I love uh, Klingon. I need to get Klingon volleyball on this because um, because it's got a laser effect. I tell you, I, that, that this uh, away team shot I've struggled with. Um, so I'm using Craig, Craig Pullen's strategy that I managed to pull off in the last game last night. Almost ready to hit the vengeance. Come on, bollocks! I'm watching the uh, F1. <laughs> it's not probably the best entertainment you watching me watch the F1. It's a big race in Monaco. Right, come on, I've got to hit the freaking. Whoa. Ah. Come on. I'm trying to hit the vengeance. I can't hit this thing. <laughs> Yay, here we go. Vengeance Molly Ball. <laughs> yeah, so I, that, uh, every Friday night is a curry night for me, man. Can't resist it. It has its downsides, though. Yes, that is Robo, the voice of Robocop, Peter Walker, is it? Hamilton's third fastest, so he qualifies for the next round of qualifying. <laughs> uh, I don't know, what was it? I can never remember. Predicting it up all the Republic? No. I can't remember, mate. What was the third one? <laughs> Protect the innocent, isn't it? Oh no, that's the first one. Is that the right order? I really want a Robocop. Have you got a Robocop? I think you've got a bus Robocop. Haven't you, Tim? Or one that needs work or something. 
That's another game on my list. Actually, Matt Vince just picked one up that he said he, went, he, he would clog to me, but I haven't, I haven't spoke to him about it. It's such a good game. Ball is not going well. I need to. That's it. I got out of ball by hitting the black hole shot, which is the shot next to the vengeance shot. Ah, uh, and then I go and give it away. Whoa, that was cool. Okay. The uh, drop target popped up just as I uh, hit the ball over it. That was a pretty rubbish thing on multi ball. these guys are struggling basically right now that I've um, completed a mission I need to select mission start scribble you should uh, stream Robocop man it's a great game so I'm gonna do Nero and then when I hit save the enterprise I get super ramps and super spinners which is uh, a great combination to have, especially if you get a molly ball going. Come on, I can't hit that, w I can't hit that warp shell for, uh, for love nor money. So I, because I got the ball through there, I got these galactic targets, which are the purple flashing dots. Um, ah, and I cocked it up. Alright guys, I'm uh, I'm gonna call it there because I'm gonna watch. Um, oh, it's good, well, it's good to see it again, man. I'm gonna call it there because I'm gonna watch the last bit of the Formula One. So thanks for tuning in. Let me know if uh, hopefully the quality of the, the stream was okay. Um, and uh, I'll uh, see you guys in a week's time. I'll be uh, probably watching streaming, but not doing any. Certainly not playing any pinball. Bye, folks. Take it easy.